Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to create an interactive quiz in Excel using VBA. You can include objective type questions with or without images. I will explain everything step by step from the functionality to the VBA code. So stay tuned and watch till the end. This quiz has three sheets, quiz, questions and result. In questions sheet, all the quiz questions are stored along with the image name, four answer options and the correct option. You can easily add new questions here. Quiz is the main interface where the question, its four options and the associated image will appear. Before starting, you can specify the number of questions to be asked by entering the desired number in cell I2. If you enter a number greater than the total questions in the database, an error message will appear. Similarly, enter a negative number or zero or any text and it will show the error message. To start the quiz with three questions, Type 3 in cell I2 and press the start quiz button. The question will appear in cell A1 and the corresponding options will display in cell A3 to A6. If an image is linked, it will appear in the right side of the question. Now select an option. The selected option will be highlighted and you will be asked for confirmation. If you select no, you can choose a different option which then will be highlighted. If you select yes, the quiz will automatically move to the next question. Now here, if you select multiple cells, it won't register any option. So you need to select a single cell. After completing the quiz, your result will be displayed in a message box. The result sheet will also record the details, including the questions, your answers and the correct answers. Incorrect answers will be highlighted in red for review. All images used in the quiz must be stored in the images folder, which should be in the same location as the quiz spreadsheet. Let's review the VBA code. Press Alt F11 and it will open VBA window. To begin, click on this workbook in the VBA editor where the code for workbook open event is written. Now this code runs automatically whenever the workbook is opened. It prepares the quiz sheet by making start quiz button visible and setting a placeholder for the question in cell A1 and displaying the options A to D in cells A3 to A6. Now click on the quiz sheet in the VBA editor. Here the code for the worksheet selection change event is written. So this code highlights the selected cell in the range A3 to A6 with a yellow color and assigns the corresponding answers a, B, C or D to the variable selected answer. This code ensures that only one cell is selected at a time. Also, this code skips execution if no question is displayed in cell A1, meaning it will only work when the quiz has started. Now click on module 1 in the VB editor. We begin by defining the variables to store the important information such as the current question number, total number of correct answers and the total questions in the quiz. Now here variables like data sheet and quiz sheet are used to reference the worksheets containing the questions and the quiz interface. These three variables are created to store all the questions asked, the answers selected by user and the correct answer for each question. The start quiz subroutine initializes the quiz. It first checks how many questions are available in the questions sheet by counting the non-empty cells in column C. Then it validates the user's input 
for the number of questions to ensure it's a positive number and does not exceed the available questions. If the input is invalid or exceeds the available question, error message will be displayed. Once validated, it sets the total number of questions and prepares arrays for storing the question, selected answers and correct answer data for generating a report after the quiz. Also, the start quiz button is hidden to prevent the user from starting the quiz again during the session. The quiz is then initialized with the first question displayed and the correct answer count is reset to zero. The display question subroutine displays the current question, its options and any corresponding image. It loads the question text into cell A1 on the quiz sheet. The options for the questions are displayed in cell A3 to A6. The question text is also stored in the question list array for later use in the report. If an image is associated with the current question, it is displayed next to the question. The previous image is deleted and a new image is inserted from the images folder based on the image name stored in column 2 of the question sheet. The image is positioned relative to cell C2 and its size is adjusted as needed. The confirm answer subroutine allows the user to confirm their selected answer before proceeding to the next question. It will display the selected option in a message box and ask the user to confirm their choice. If the user clicks yes, the quiz proceeds to the next question. If the user chooses no, the selected answer variable is reset and allows the user to select a new answer. After the user confirms or changes their answer, the background color of the answer option is reset to its default color and the focus is returned to cell A1. The next question subroutine handles the transition between questions. If the selected answer matches the correct answer, the total correct counter is incremented to keep track of the user's score. The text of the selected answer is stored in the selected answer list array for the report. It also tracks the progress to determine when the quiz ends. Once all questions are answered, it will display a message box with the user's score and the quiz ends. The start quiz button will be visible, the image will be removed and the results will be populated in the result sheet. If an image for a question is not available, this block ensures the quiz continues without throwing an error. Clear quiz screen subroutine clears the questions and options, reset the quiz interface to its default state after the quiz is complete. The populate result subroutine generates and populates the result sheet with the quiz data after the quiz is completed. The result sheet is cleared to remove any previous data, then headers are added to the first row. A table range is created based on the number of total questions and a table is inserted into the result sheet. These three arrays are used to fill the table with the respective data. If the user's answer is incorrect, the row is highlighted in red. After filling in the data, a built-in table style, table style medium 2 is applied to the results table for better readability. So with this VBA script, you now have a fully functional quiz in Excel. It dynamically displays questions, manages the images, and tracks the scores. If you found this useful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And please let me know in the comment section if you would like more Excel VBA tutorials. Thanks for watching.